What's up guys, today I'm going to talk about Hackintosh PCs and their benefits. So many of you might be wondering what exactly is a Hackintosh. Hackintosh PC is any PC which runs the Apple Mac OS X. Installing OS X is not an easy task. Unlike Windows, you cannot just insert the installation disk and get your work done. Installing Hackintosh requires you to deal with patches, bootloaders, kernel flags, kext, etc. I would recommend Tony Mac x86 for all your Hackintosh questions. So in this video, we will find out if all these efforts of building in Hackintosh are worth or not. So as you can see guys, this is my Hackintosh system. I am currently running Mac OS X Lion 10.7.5. It is very stable and smooth so I am currently not planning to move on to Mountain Lion. My system is a low end PC. As you can see in about this Mac, my Hackintosh runs on a Core 2 Duo processor with 8 gigs of RAM and a RAID on 6771GB GPU. I have had no problems with OS X whatsoever. I use Final Cut Pro for editing and it runs really well. I also game on this Hackintosh. Currently I am playing Batman Arkham City which is a really demanding game. So performance wise, once you get all your hardware working, the OS X runs very smoothly and almost, almost like a Mac. So what I am going to do now is that I am going to compare three computers. The first one is the Mac Pro, the other one is the PC with the same price of the Mac Pro and the last one is a PC with the same specs of Mac Pro. So I have done this to give you an idea of what specifications you get for the price of a baseline Mac Pro. So first up is the baseline Mac Pro. The baseline Mac Pro has a quad core Xeon processor. It has 6 GB of RAM and 1 terabyte of hard drive. The video card used in the 2 year old Mac Pro is a Radeon 5770 which is out of the market now. It is out of production and you cannot find it anywhere else. So the Mac Pro uses a very old GPU. You also get uh, optical drive and key keyboard and mice. All this is available for around $2500. Now check out the $2300 PC I built on Amazon. So this PC has a Corsair case with front USB 3.0 ports. Then we have a decent liquid cooler from Corsair to help you overclock. Then we have an NVIDIA GTX 680 GPU with 4 GB of memory. The motherboard is a beast which is the ASUS X79 Sabertooth USB 3.0. The processor is an Intel i7-3930K 6 core processor with 3.2 GHz clock speed. This beast can overclock to a great frequency. Then we have not one but two 128GB solid state drives and a 3TB of SATA hard drive for storage compared to the 1TB SATA hard drive on the Mac Pro. And finally we have 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RAM compared to the 6GB on the Mac Pro. All this bundle comes to about $2300. If you add the price of OS and the keyboard and the mice, you get this beast for about the same price of the baseline Mac Pro. And finally I have a PC with the same specs of the Mac Pro but it has a 7770 GPU instead of the 5770 and it also has a USB 3.0 motherboard. Feel free to pause the video and check out the specifications. This build is going to cost you around $900. So ultimately if you can save $1500 with a PC with same or better specs than a Mac Pro. So ultimately my point is that Hackintosh systems are much cost effective than Mac Pros. The next benefit about Hackintosh is the OS X itself. You get a fully functional proper Mac OS on your PC. OS X has many benefits in itself. The integrated app store provides a lot of apps to make everyday tasks easy. The Mac app store has a lot of apps with some noteworthy apps like Final Cut Pro, iMovie, iPhoto, GarageBand etc. The app store has brought the mobile app experience to OS X plus the iCloud facility makes syncing between Apple devices very easy. And according to me, I found the OS X ecosystem a bit better than Windows. Now I don't want to start any Windows versus Mac arguments here. I do use Windows for gaming. I have dual booted Windows along with Mac OS. So I found the Mac ecosystem a bit better than Windows. And lastly, Hackintosh systems compared to the Mac Pros are overclockable. So if you are not satisfied with the performance of your Hackintosh, you can easily overclock it provided that you have supported motherboard and proper cooling. So both side things make the Hackintosh systems better than the Mac Pros. So this does not mean that the Hackintosh systems do not have any cons or disadvantages. I am going to make a follow up video which will explain about the legal issues as well as the disadvantages of building a Hackintosh. 
so be sure to subscribe to my channel for further content on these topics and you can also follow me on twitter and also like my facebook page i'll put the link in the description box thank you for watching guys be sure to be subscribed